The prince of this world will be cast out. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will roll to my house, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Dominos for Biscum, Axio Sancte Evangelis, Segundum Lucum. <coughs> when Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebub, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. It was to test the master for a son from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say it is by Beelzebub that I cast out demons. <clears throat> if I then drive out demons by Beelzebub, whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But by the finger of God I drive demons, and the kingdom of God is con you. Then a strong man, when a strong man fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one strong he attacks and overcomes, takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me against me, whoever does not gather with me, scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out, uh, goes out of someone, it roams around our region searching for the rest. But find, searching for rest, but finding none, he says, <clears throat> I returned to the home from which I came. Upon returning, it is swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits more wicked itself, who move in well there. And that's condition that man is worse than the first. Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, today we are doing a mass in time of war and disturbances. Uh, civil disturbances, I believe. <clears throat> it is apropos. We have wars going on now in the world. We have uh, Russia and Ukraine. And we have Israel and uh, Palestine. And that's the Arab world, right? Because the Palestinians are not at war with anyone. The rich Palestinian is a victim of such wars. Um, I'm not saying they're victims of Israel. I mean, they're victims of wars. They're victims of their own Palestinian authority. They're victims of the Arab world. They're victims of Hamas. Uh, they're victims of, of every aspect of this war. Uh, and so we need to pray. And I think it's apropos that today we have a uh, restorial song. The Lord will judge the world with justice. With justice. See, he will judge the world with, with mercy to those who ask for his mercy. But everybody else, he's going to judge the world with justice, right? There will be justice in the world. Maybe not to the end of the world, but there will be just the end of time. There will be perfect harmony. Christ's mercy, all his perfect mercy, will be perfected with his justice. All will be made smooth. Jesus talks to us about demons today. And indeed, uh, what he is talking about is that we should never underestimate the demons. We should never rest from spiritual attacks. We always need to be on guard from spiritual attacks. And there's ways that we can ward off spiritual attacks, the sacraments, uh, deliverance prayers, exorcism prayers. Jesus Christ, immerse ourselves in Jesus Christ, staying in the state of grace, right? Sacramentals. Uh, the uh, God gives uh, the, 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 the church, the church, the Catholic church, not all means necessary salvation, but all means necessary to protect us on our journey to salvation. All means necessary to ward off evil, keep us safe in spiritual warfare. And Jesus talks about this. But never let our guard down. We never say, okay, I'm okay now, I'm protected now, if we're in a state of grace. Many have already experienced that. The spirit, the evil one, attack you immediately after the sack of confession. Temptations are great after the sacrament of confession. The one may keep you from even going to the sacrament of confession. This is why it's important for us to say Michael's prayer after every single Mass, and the fact that we have received our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, St. Michael, at the end of every single Mass. So our Lord is warning us about the evil one. He is telling us never let our go down. He is saying stay united with Christ in protecting yourself from the evil one. Uh, and indeed, my brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, again, let's protect ourselves from evil at all.
times. The evil one will never, ever give up, will never relent until it's been fully conquered, uh, and that will come at the end of time. But until then, those of us who battle between good and evil, the militant must always be on our guard. Stay with Jesus. Stay one with Jesus. Stay with the church. Use all weapons the church has given us to walk off uh, evil. And uh, indeed, always give thanks that our Lord does protect us and will protect us from evil uh, as long as we invoke. Today is the uh, burial of the miracle of the sun. We need a miracle, Lord, in our lives now. In our world, we need an act of divine intervention. May you, through the session of the Blessed Virgin, provide that act of divine intervention so that we overcome evil in the world, uh, that this may become a world of peace world of love, a world founded in uh, your uh, grace, your endless grace, your boundless mercy. <clears throat> Let us now ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy.